Okay, so Kyle Sniper, back again. This week I thought up the most awesome tech tip I ever come up with, and it's how to do a complete Martha Stewart way on how to waterproof your guns for your bug out bag or your 32 hour pack or whatever. Or if you're just going to go out and you think you might get rained on before you get to your hunting location, you want to waterproof your handgun or something like that or your ammo, check it out. Great thing, a lot of people have these in their house. It's a uh, food saver for vacuum sealing your food, okay? Now, demonstrate this. Obviously, I'm not going to put my home defense Springfield XD 45 ACP with True Glow or Streamlight TLR3 uh, Tactical Light. Uh, True Glow, TFO, Night Lights, all this. This is not going in my 72 hour bag because I like to shoot this gun, and that's my other point. Don't put the, your favorite weapon in your in your bug out bag or in your truck or anything like that because what's going to happen is you're going to put it in, you're going to want to go shoot it, you're going to take it out. You're going to put it in, you're going to shoot it, take it out. Eventually, it's not going to wind it back up in there. So, anyhow, that's just my point on that. Now, my lovely assistant, aka my wife, <laughs> Of course, all dressed out in, in her camo outfit, because that's just how we roll like that. <clears throat> She's going to help operate the machine, because she knows how to use it. <laughs> First, you put it, you cut your bag to the size you want. You put your bag in, or actually turn the machine on first, <laughs> and push your stop and seal button so that you can seal your bag. You've got to seal it before anything else. Once the red light blinks and stops, then it'll be done. Takes a second. Or two. Alright, now we're good to go. Now, take your end of day's bug out bag weapon. Place it into the bag. Now, see, this time we're going to vacuum it, so we're not going to put the stop seal button in first. We're just going to put it in, load it into the machine, the loud noise. Is the vacuum, and it has vacuumed all the air out. Right now it's sealing the bag with heat. Okay. And there you have your sealed yeah. weapon. Completely sealed up. Waterproof. Air, there's very minimum air in here. And air can't get into it. Can't not get into the gun. What happens with rust called oxidation has to have oxygen to happen. Okay. Now, just to prove how much confidence I have in this. This is really super strong, durable material. Much better than a Ziploc baggie or anything like that. Check this out. Fair enough. The gun is completely submerged in water. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave it in here forever just to prove my point. But anyhow, I mean, not to mention this is Springfield XD, so you can't kill it anyway. But it's not like you guys out there with Glocks. I know I'm gonna get the hate mail for that. But anyhow, <laughs> guys with Glocks give me crap all the time about having an XD. So you know, I just gotta get back. All right, now. Take it dry it off a little bit. My scissors. Since we're like Martha Stewart in it, normally I'd be I guess doing this with my survival knife. Or whatever. Comes out of the package, perfectly dry besides my wet hands. Ready to lock and load. There it is. Now, just to add to this a little bit. Another part of this. Go ahead and make our first seal on this bag. Now, what good? What good's a gun with no ammo? So, like for example, keep them from rust. The way I did it too, until I thought of this. So anyhow, that's enough ammo to 
demonstrate. Drop in, you know, roughly 50 rounds of ammunition, you know. You do less, you can do more, however. Once the red light hits, it stopped all the vacuuming and now it's just sealing the bag. Take the bag out. Yeah. We've got perfectly vacuum sealed ammunition. Stuff's not gonna. There's no chance this stuff's ever gonna go bad. I mean, ever. This could be in here for a hundred years and this thing's still gonna be good. And again, it's waterproof. It's waterproofed, it's sealed, it's tight, no corrosion's gonna happen, nothing. So anyhow, I mean you can do this, do this with your magazines, you know, your gun. It's about anything. And it's cheap, inexpensive. You know, I mean, what we did here probably cost maybe 50 cents, you know, minus the cost of the machine. But you really, these things, if you're a hunter, the greatest thing in the world, take your deer meat, throw some marinade or whatever in it, however you're going to do your deer meat. Stick in that thing, vacuum seal it, throw it in the freezer, forget about it. Any you can have of your meat. Any of your meat. You can have that stuff in there for years and years and years. Take it out, it's just as good as the day you cut it off the deer. But anyhow, so... All, to me, those things are just completely awesome. We just got one for Christmas, and I'm pumped about it. But anyhow, so anyhow, that's my tech tip. So, Cal Sniper, signing off. See you next time.